Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 33 of Mountain Blade Warband. We are making our way down south. What I'm trying to do is get to Cheriz uh, and find out what kind of businesses they have. Right now, uh, we have about 20,000 dinars. And so it makes sense for us. We invested 10,000 in Rivacheg. But that is the territory of the uh, Vager, Vagers. And we are currently in uh, Ravadin. So I'm s trying to see if we can buy another business uh, very far from uh, the Vagers. So that if we buy another die and weave, uh, maybe here in Shariz or maybe here in Barie. Barrier is still far from Rivacheg. Uh, I don't want to buy anything in Halmar or in uh, Kyrgyz territory because I think we will be at war with them very soon. Or I don't know. Uh, hold on. Let us check. Uh, in terms of factions, who has the most opponents right now? Is at war with uh, Swedia. Kyrgyz has a with Kingdom of Vagars well, that will expire in 34 days. Uh, and the Kyrgyz is at war with the Saranid Sultanate. So I was thinking maybe we should go down here in Shariz or maybe in Rodok country and buy a business. As, uh, if we buy a business in Dirim, it will be so close to us. Uh, I don't know what... Unless we find out what Dirim is good for. Uh, but that's just like the central of everything. Anyway, so what are we trying to do right now is is uh, spend some time looking for a good business opportunity. Anyway, I've saved the game. And if we don't find anything interesting... Or worth the effort coming all the way down here because we will be spending like about I'd say uh, about eight six or seven hundred uh, dinars just to make the trip down here and we have maxed out on Hold on, we have maxed out on uh, on the amount of prisoners we can carry. So I'm also looking very closely for a uh, ransom broker. And we are not coming across any deserters or anything. Hold on, uh, look at our party. Oh, we have a lot of people that were wounded in the uh, fight when we were trying to pick up more... Wow. Yeah, when we were picking up the gold, uh, we have been fighting uh, a lot of sea raiders here up north. And also Tundra, tundra bandits. And uh, we've been taking them and uh, that has caused us serious damage. But... Uh, good thing for that we have Jeremus that's why we haven't so far encountered any really uh, people that get killed uh, ouch so there's no one here uh, uh, okay let's walk the streets and this is Dirim right uh, where is the guild master I think he's way up here, maybe. Yeah, Dirim, uh, I don't want to buy any businesses here. The problem, the issue is that they keep getting invaded by the Vagers, by the uh, Swedian knight. No, the, the Swedians are there, uh, by the Rodoks, uh, and by the uh, Saranid Sultanate. So, um, 
What can you tell him? Uh, can you tell him what to do? I have. Uh, how is trade around here? Uh, we have shortages of flax bundle dyes, smoke fish. Ooh, smoke fish, cheese, cabbages, fruits, and some other commodities. Ooh, so if we bring fish from uh, f so flax bundle. So I mean I. Presumably, flax is coming from the Kyrgyz or maybe the Saranids, dyes. Fish is definitely from Vercheg and fruits. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll receive many trades in town, although there is some danger in on the roads. We have heard that travelers heading to their Cuba were attacked on the road a while ago by Kyrgyz. Travelers coming from Suno traded here one day ago. Travelers coming from Kundan. Traded here about two weeks ago. Travelers coming from Ravadin traded here several weeks ago. There's little news about the caravan routes to the towns of Sargoth, Tyr, Viluka, Praven, Uxhal, Kurau, Halmar, Nara, Sharius, and nearby parts. But no news is good news, and those are therefore considered safe. So Sharius. Huh? Also, the roads to the villages of Berglund, Emirin, and other are considered safe. Okay, uh, huh. How does, yeah, overall the wealthiest town called Radia is known to be in Sharis. Here in Dirim, we are poorer than three towns. So they are number four and richer than 18. In terms of local industry, the most productive towns in Calradian is known to be Veluka. Here in Dirim, we produce less than five towns. And but they don't say what is being produced, right? So, okay. In terms of output of the surrounding villages, the towns of Dirim is the richest in Calradia. Here in Dirim, the villages produce less than the hinterlands around zero towns and produce more than 21. The wealth of a town's hinterland, of course, is heavily dependent on tides of war. So they are really in the center. So they're the number one in terms of production up about the towns. In terms of trade town, their, their Cuba is believed to have received the most visits from caravans over the past few months. Here in Dirim, we have we are less visited than eight towns, so they're number nine and more visited by thirteen. So they're about middling. In terms of attacks and travels, the town of Ikamur is believed to be the most dangerous. Here in Dirim, we are less affected by bandits and raiders than two towns and more oh so they're pretty safe okay how about what if we wish to buy land here uh we in the guild know and trust you and i think we could tr sell some land to you how about a bakery um the profit would be 66 dinars for 1500 no uh i wish to buy land here so how about a brewery would be ooh 2500 oh not bad this is almost similar to the town in that was that lady uh so sona or uh so 2500 dinars will get us 185 dinars a week this of course uh no uh it that is not bad actually uh in terms of um return so that was ale. How about leather? Uh, ooh, 8,000 and your profit would be... No, uh, that is way... Leather. How about wine? Oh, Suno would be wine. Uh, so 5,000 dinars. Uh, profit is... No, that's not good. No, that's not economical. Hmm... How about oil? Uh, 4,500. Ooh, this is not bad. The land and outside. So, the build your, uh, which you may build your oil press will cost 4,500 dinars. Right now, your oil press will produce oil worth 964 dinars a week, while the olives needed to, will, will be 618 and upkeep. I would guess that your profit would be 266 a week. That is not bad, actually. Uh, 266. 10% uh, of 4,500 is 45. 
4,500 is 450. Uh, half of that is 266. Uh, okay, no, that's not econo e economical for us. So, I guess we can do oil here. Uh, how about the last one? Oh, tools. Uh, 3,500 and we make 180 dinars. Uh, that would be 3,500, so about 5%. Mm. How about the weaver and dye works? Uh, four eighty nine. Wow, that is not good. Okay, let's leave. Uh, I think the oil uh is good. Or decent. I wouldn't say, uh, yeah, saying good is just very misleading. Let's go to the market, goods market. Yeah, we have items to sell. Oh, yeah, we want to buy bread. I think bread is cheap here, right? Yeah, it's relatively cheap. Not very cheap. Relatively cheap. Okay, uh, we can sell that. That's Those are heavy javelins, thrown pole arms. Yeah, we'll sell that. We can keep this, so in case we find somebody else. And I think we, this is, yeah, it's too much for us at this point in time. We don't, just don't have iron. Okay. Um, Let's leave. Okay, question is, where do we go from here? Uh, let's save this as. <clears throat> so I want to be as far away. I want to another, apparently the uh, weave, weaving and and dye work and dye works are the best, right? Weavery and dye works are the best. Uh, let's head directly for Shariz. No, that must. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, Dirim, what we can do is let's. Head to Veluca. these guys count Delinard oh that must be Delinard I think I believe who was this guy you're ours now 5.4 what's our speed 5.4 
don't think we'll get there. No, let's go to Uxal then. Four, we're also at five point four. <clears throat> Hopefully, we'll pick up some uh, a little bit of goods. Uh, we can't take any more prisoners, but uh, hopefully some loot. Wow. They're literally overwhelmed. Ouch, we cannot uh, pick up any more. Uh, Rodok trained spearmen? I, th I don't know, it, will they be more expensive than uh, Taiga bandits? Trained spearmen. Taking a gamble here. Yeah, we can't capture any more party capacity. What do we have? Uh, whoa. Really, really cheap. Hopefully, uh, 51 dinars. This, they're traveling 5.1. Okay. Save as. Uh, we left. Let's go to Oaks Hall. Tavern. Watchman. Alayen. You there, good man. Be so kind as to fetch me another drink. Eh? You must have me confused with the tavern keep, sir. My most humble apologies. It is sometimes hard to recognize folk amid the smoke and gloom here. I still cannot believe that I must take make my home in such a place. I was my father's first son and his heir, but my mother died and my father remarried. His new wife thought that her son should inherit. She could not move against me openly, but the other day I fed a pot of suet that had been left out for me to one of my hounds and it killed over. I accused my stepmother but my father befuddled by her witchcraft refused to believe me and ordered me to leave and to leave his sight i hope to offer my sword to some worthy captain as it is the only honorable profession for a man of my birth apart from owning land 
but in the meantime I am condemned to make my bed among thieves, vagabonds, merchants, and the other riffraff off the road. Perhaps you would like to join my company for a while. Uh, as a gentleman, I am a gentleman prefer to fight with sword and lance. I recognize that you are of lower birth than I. There is no shame for me to serve under an experienced captain. Presume me, of course, that your followers do not become too familiar with me. I assume that will not be a problem. Well, it shouldn't be. I'll have a talk with them. 300 bucks? Ouch. Okay, we did not even make that kind of money. Let's go to market. Go into the goods section. Cloth. You know, I should I should start keeping score as to who sells what. So that we can actually uh wow. I guess we'll have to keep that one so that maybe Alayan will need it. How about a horse merchant? Uh, Corsair, Sumter horse. I guess we can get one of these. This is heavy saddle horse. That's too much money. I'll just. Okay, let's leave. Uh, and then let us outfit our party. Alayen. Baheshtur, move him up to... Alayen And then let's talk to him uh, Can you tell me about your skills? Oh, he's level 2! Jeez, okay, uh, that's well and uh, good and bad, right? In the sense that we can actually mold him into what we really want him to be Again, he, apparently he's a fighter, he has power strike at 3 uh, uh, does he have any riding? Oh, he's riding at three. So he's at power strike at three, weapons master at three, riding at three. So uh, yeah, he's going to be a um, a melee fighter. Okay. Uh, let's look at his. I wow. I think what is this? Short sword. Uh, tabard 14.6 leg armor wow it is terrible okay we'll give him a riding horse and I think we need to move the sumter up and once we get tempered nordic uh, we want him using a blunt weapon also right uh, he's currently using a okay. This is thirty six and three, and what is this? Oh, that's terrible. And he doesn't have a shield. Uh, this is fourteen. What kind of boots did we pick up? That's twelve. So these are. We're gonna sell these. I hope uh, we did not uh, lose money uh, employing this guy because uh, Tempered Nordic Sword. No, let's have him use the Balanced Nomad Saber or a Scimitar. That's just 210, 30. Yeah, let's use Scimitar for now. No, or a Balance 32. This is. You know what? Let's see how he works out with a group before we give him anything really expensive. 
if it starts to uh, people start to oh he starts to bitch about everyone and everyone starts to bitch about him uh, we will we will take him out we will remove him Okay, uh, so we can sell these and a short sword also. And then I think... Okay, never mind. And then we need to change him into... Cavalry also. Right, okay. Uh, so he will be going up in terms of... Uh, what do you call that? Oh, we did not check an ox hull, uh, what they are selling. Okay, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, let's, let's take a walk around the streets. Okay, to dismount. How come we cannot dismount? Oh, because we were moving. Okay, uh, is this the guild master? Yes. Okay, uh, bef uh, Okay. I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Bye.